Maître Suzinski souhaite prendre la parole, je vous yes, en prie. Maître Suzinski, je vous remercie, Monsieur um, le Président. Given that um, the testimonies of the civil party so far uh, went présent, faster than expected, um, I would like prévu. to inform the chamber about um, our civil parties and uh, the situation if and when they can testify. Tomorrow morning, um, Mr. Siang Van D could and would be able to testify. This uh, is uh, on the last schedule, uh, number 18 and D25 slash 13. De D25 13. Um, donc au numéro 18. Dans la liste. Ms. Chin Navi um, feels at the moment dizzy and expects to go at least tomorrow or today uh, to check her health state and is perhaps expected to uh, be able to testify on Thursday this week. But of course, um, dependent on her health state, semaine. which is Cela at the moment de not so well. She was this morning in Sova the courtroom, but Sovaki. I spoke just uh, uh, during lunch, lunch with her. And um, as I said, she feels dizzy at the moment and could even not um, attend the um, session um, here in the afternoon. Et euh, étant donné qu'elle ne se sentait pas très bien, elle n'a pas pu euh, être en mesure d'être présente cet après-midi. Madame Sun Tari et Boung Sun Tari n'ont pas finalisé le statement final. So that they uh, prepared it uh, to be able to do it on uh, 24th of August, which uh, they cannot uh, get before. Mr. Jumsirat is not in Mr. town. Is not in town. Mr. Jumsirat is not in town. Mr. Jumsirat is not Before Monday. But could be flexible then on Monday or Tuesday. Or, but uh, he only would like to start his testimony at uh, in the morning. And so far, from uh, our civil parties and their available availability, um, and I would like to add as uh, explanations for all of our clients that. Um, this is a very exciting moment for them to testify before this court. And of course, it is also very, um, very um, difficult for them to prepare a statement. And when they get back to all these memories, they are not able to work uh, as I would say, or to elaborate on the statement that they want to present um, in a manner that um, is um, that is feasible, let's say, with the flexible um, court schedule. That means um, they are overwhelmed uh, within um, preparing their statements. They cannot continue uh, if. Uh, as they want, uh, they uh, have times, and which is also uh, the consequence uh, of their suffering and shows and demonstrates their suffering that they are not able, like a healthy person, to continue in a normal working schedule uh, when they are uh, going back to their memories of their beloved. 
I further collaboration work, um, avec les partis civils de manière is, à leur permettre de préparer not, leur déposition um, pour la semaine prochaine. C'est quelque chose qui ne concerne pas les um, uh, partis civils du groupe de M. Dubois. Vous informez que mon I'm collègue, M. Hong Kim Soon, a dû être day, opéré des uh, dents. Problem, problem mm, je ne sais pas si... Several days, two Ça weeks around. I'm not sure about dents. the exact date, but and uh, told me this camp, morning that uh, he got now an infection and uh, is at least today or in the coming day, coming days not able to work. I cannot say or predict uh, until um, when, but uh, is just not available. Um, what means for group four that? Um, the assistant um, Jessica Finel, uh, who has to Jessica be present Finel, for Group 4 um, during the video conference on um, la, uh, scheduled for the 20th of August um, in the afternoon and is there present in Paris and comes only um, uh, after or can uh, start from Paris only after this conference, uh, can also not be available uh, during this Elle week due uh, to this court schedule. Présent. So, so, uh, far uh, that, -là, selon or that means that uh, during, uh, due to the, these problems uh, for lawyers or chambre. assistance of Group 4 and uh, health reasons, um, Donc, I de uh, pour, uh, du do not or cannot predict if uh, the civil parties uh, from Group 4 uh, able to testify uh, this week si without uh, being represented by their lawyers, uh, who, of course, also thought to uh, uh, la présence uh, or de should be present uh, and uh, uh, when their clients uh, testify. Uh, so far, um, the information uh, from our side, many from Group 2, and as far as I know from chambre, Group voilà, 4 for the Chamber, and um, to be considered, uh, and of course, I think uh, in the interest, interest of uh, the health situation of uh, all civil parties who uh, have to testify uh, and to chambre, deal with them um, sensitively, um, I think the current health situation or current preparation uh, status should be adequate. taken into Également, consideration. I thank you for your uh, attention and of course I'm prepared for further questions if I could respond. Je vous remercie de votre attention. Si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas. Le President. Mr. President, Judge Carwright, please take the floor. Madame la juge Carwright, je thank you, Mr. President. Uh, yes, thank you for that uh, lengthy uh, explanation of the problems uh, faced by the civil parties that are represented by civil party group two. And um, uh, of course, uh, I am uh, concerned by um, the, the difficulties that are faced. However, I'm not quite sure what it is you propose by way of a solution uh, to the problems. Are you able, in a few words, to give us a solution um, to the various problems that you face, Ms. Studensky? Vis-à-vis des différents problèmes que vous rencontrez, Maître Tsuzinski. Maître Tsuzinski. As I said, I don't want to repeat. Tomorrow, Mr. Siang Vandi is prepared and uh, will testify in court at uh, 
9, if there is nothing else uh, scheduled so far. I don't si know if uh, the civil parties from today Je will si finish today or not, but uh, uh, then uh, Mr. Sien Fandi is uh, prepared. There is only one uh, maybe smaller problem that uh, we submitted uh, yesterday. Um, um, a supporting document, uh, which is, as far as uh, lunchtime, was not yet net notified, um, uh, but I think uh, it can be explained, and um, it's only the translation of uh, confession, but that uh, only to announce it maybe until tomorrow uh, it is, although it uh, will be notified. Um, then, um, uh, this, I think the, um, the other time, which uh, uh, that could be used for um, either uh, the challenges um, by the defense uh, or and uh, additional information that I announced uh, to uh, give to the chamber uh, about our client Nermon and to use the uh, rest of the time for uh, other matters uh, that also um, should be covered or and uh, discussed and brought before the chamber. Um, I think there are still, except of witness or civil party statements, um, other items that must be brought before the chamber where the time, uh, the leaving time on uh, in this week could uh, be used. I have no fin, other uh, concrete um, um, nous avons notre disposition uh, proposal la fin de to, cette semaine. Je to pas submit, and I hope uh, very much that uh, Ms. Chinnavi, as I said, um, who feels at the moment Chinnavi not so well, but that she is prepared uh, on Thursday morning to testify, although she also thought she will testify next week, but uh, and at the moment when she is feeling better, she could do it this week so far. Thank you. So, in summary, uh, you are able to have D25-13 Siang Bandi tomorrow morning uh, and possibly uh, uh, Ms. Chin Navy, is that right? On Thursday morning. And it's proposed by you that we spend the rest of the time on unknown topics. Um, Are there any other civil party lawyers who can bring forward civil, party civil parties? As far as um, Group 1 is concerned, we had only uh, four civil parties. We expect the third um, to, to, to um, be heard today. By your honours, the last one, which is E2 slash 86, um, as you are aware, um, is, is an American citizen, and arrangements have been made by Wezu for him to arrive. My understanding is that he should arrive on, on Sunday or Monday in Phnom Penh. Um, and I, you, as you will understand, I mean, I was not able to meet my client before, so I would need at least, I would say, at least a day. Um, I don't know if, if arrangement can be made for him to travel before. Of course, we could be ready to, um, we could be, you know, make sure to be ready very quickly. But that's, that's the best we can do. Um, The president. the president, thank you very much for the information Je tiens vous remercier regards de ces to informations. the 
participation by the civil parties who are supposed to be providing the testimony or statements before the chamber. Donc, il est prévu il And thank you for the civil chambre. party council group two. Je tiens à remercier Maître Sinski pour le groupe numéro deux. However, Et, uh, pour les nouvelles qu'elle nous a communiquées s'agissant du groupe numéro quatre. Cependant, it is the chamber's decision to hear Il revient à la the testimony of the civil parties, and in that respect, yesterday's hearing and today's hearing of those civil parties, the chamber is now in a position to amend the scheduling order for the civil parties. De And there are certain civil parties who waive their rights to appear before this chamber as announced by the their legal representative. Therefore, the scheduling of the civil parties as issued by the chamber is going to be amended. Since the proceedings are more expeditious than we expected, Débats sont plus rapides que prévu. Therefore, the chamber will make it, its best effort to further expedite the proceedings. Faire mieux pour accélérer les travaux. And due to the time constraint, étant donné les contraintes, yesterday morning, en termes de temps. The chamber Donc, made an announcement regarding the regarding certain applications to be vis -vis come civil parties which have been objected by the defense council and we do not yet uh, have a fixed time allocated for such um, debate. And the Chamber has a view that if the hearing of the testimonies of the civil parties as scheduled is more expeditious than we expect, then the Chamber will inform the parties the proceedings tomorrow or after tomorrow the amended scheduling and the debate on the contested civil parties by the Defense Council. So that we would not waste time in our proceedings. And the Chamber is hopeful that the Civil Party Council understand the situation and can coordinate with their clients to have them participated in the proceedings. The Chamber believes this is the opportunity the Civil Parties have been waiting for so long to appear before this Chamber to express their sorrow, their sufferings, which have been hidden for so many years. And the Chamber is still hopeful that the Civil Party Council can facilitate with those Civil Parties so that they are able to appear in person before this chamber as scheduled due to the aforementioned reasons. Next. The chamber will put this matter aside and during the break or tomorrow morning Once the chamber receives concrete information regarding the participation of the civil party, d'information s'agissant de la participation des parties civiles, then we will inform you accordingly. La chambre vous tiendra au courant des changements éventuels. Now we are going to hear the statement of the civil party. Entendre la déposition de la partie so, civile. So, so Song, court officer, you are instructed to bring this civil party cette partie civile to be before the chamber.
Madame Madame Rob Nee. The President. The President. Madame Madame Civil Party. Is your name So Song or So Sung? Votre nom c'est So Song or So Sung? What is your name then? Quel est votre nom alors? My name is So Song, says the Civil Party. Réponse de la partie civile. Question, how old are you? Song. Question, quel âge avez-vous? Réponse. Response, I am 55 years old. J'ai 55 ans. Question, Question, what is your nationality? Quelle est votre nationalité? Response, I am Khmer. Réponse, je suis Khmer. Question. Question. Where is your place of birth? Quel est votre lieu de naissance? Response. Réponse. I was born je suis né au Chang Cha. Kreiting, Kampot, province. Chap, commune de Chakrating, district de Kampot, province What de Kampot. What is your current address? Question. Quel est votre domicile Response. actuel? Response. At present, à l'heure actuelle, I live at Hum Pei, à Hum Pei, Sankat Mui, Matapheb, Sihanouk. Matapheb, Sihanouk. Question. What is your occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Response. Réponse. My husband was a construction worker and I Mon stay at home. Mon mari était uh, contre-maître. Question. What is the, moi, your father's name? Foyer. And is he alive or not? Votre question. Votre mari est-il vivant? Both my parents uh, are deceased. Sont-ils uh, sont vivants ou décédés? Question. Mes deux How many sont siblings décédés. do you have? Question. Combien de frères et sœurs avez-vous? And what are their names? Et Can you describe to the chamber? Quel est leur nom? Response. Réponse. I have two siblings, my elder frères sister frères. and myself. Nous sommes deux dans la famille. J'ai uh, une sœur aînée. We both live together. Nous vivons We, ensemble. Since I was seven years old, de de sept ans, my parents separated. Mes parents se sont séparés. I started to live with my uncle. J'ai vécu avec mon Then oncle. Then my elder sister got Puis married. Ma sœur aînée s'est mariée. In 1967. En so 1967. I came to live with her. Et je suis allé vivre avec And elle. And in 1970, Et en 1970, during the time of the fighting between the Lonol uh, and the Khmer Rouge soldiers, entre les, then uh, my brother-in-law asked me to live with Khmer my Rouge. mother at the liberated zone. Je suis Question. À vivre avec ma mère dans la zone What is the name of your elder sister? Question. Quel est le nom de votre sœur aînée? Response. Réponse. Her name is Am Soon. Son nom est Am Soon. Mini. The president. You just indicated Question that your sister got uh, married. Uh, marié. What is the name of her husband? Quel est le nom de son mari? Response. Réponse. His name is Mie Sun. Son nom est Mien Sun. Question. Next, uh, we would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyer group three la to briefly tell the court uh, the identity of the civil party and uh, the de la ground et sur and les the, the reason why the civil party has joined. As the civil party and also la demande de constitution de parti civil. Damages 
également nous informe ce qu'il en est from the alleged crimes réparation éventuelle demandée par for. la partie civile suite au crime allégué dont elle a souffert. Je vous donne la parole. Je vous remercie, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. En effet, Indeed, euh, nous sommes dans le cadre euh, d'un dossier particulier. C'est le dossier. E It is case E234 involving Ms. Susson, who joined as party, a civil party du fait because du décès of de la the disappearance de son of her brother-in-law, that is to say uh, the husband of her older sister, and he disappeared at Tulse Lane. And she joined as part, a civil party in this case de sa sœur à Giving pouvoir faire face her sister's à inability to face this process incapacité de fait de sa maladie because of her illness et madame Sousson and miss Sousson est tout à fait légitime is perfectly constituée partie civile legitimate in joining as elle va a civil party as she's going to explain in her testimony as since she lived with her sister from the age of seven, she was protected and brought up by her sister, and she continued living with her sister when she got married. So in these conditions, she can consider her sister as her mother and her sister's husband as her father. Elle a revécu avec so sa sœur, elle va vous l'expliquer She relived with her sister and she will explain this to you les de 1979 et the events in 1979 and she is still helping her sister que nous avons and the documents that je, je, we have que I'm que nous just semble saying here that it seems to me that her joining Sosson as a civil party is recevable perfectly admissible au des de la given uh, the practice directions of 2007 sur, uh, practice direction 2 involving the participation uh, of victims that notes in article 3 regarding the joining as civil parties the article 3.2 part C is that psychological harm is, uh, in, it can involve the people who have been victims Madame of these crimes. So Ms. Sosong has lost her brother-in-law at S21 and we were able, she found La photo de Men Sun's photograph S21, at S21. Photocopy qui a été a photographie qui a, a été versée. It is a au uh, the photo was included in the case file RM under ERN 0028283155. Lastly, nous avons communiqué, we nous avons euh, déposé filed, euh, tout récemment very recently, de nouveaux euh, documents new documents qui ne semblent pas avoir encore été notifiés aux parties, mais nous avons pris la, nous avons décidé de communiquer d'ores et déjà ces documents to euh, non officiellement à la défense uh, afin que le respect these du contrat de droit soit respecté, so et nous avons remis ces documents aussi euh, à la Chambre. And we have also presented these documents documents, to the chamber. These documents, il de it is uh, the certificate de la of the mayor of de la the Serenée, commune where her de, older uh, sister lives, Madame Sosong, uh, qui uh, a fait which afin de certifies and which proves le lien de the kinship entre between Miss Sosong et and her sister et le lien de and the kinship entre between Miss Sosong and her brother-in-law, Miss Sosong. And le maire de cette in the same way, the mayor of this commune témoins, has, a posé, with uh, sa different witnesses, de la photo de Sung, uh, photo stated S21, his, officially his acknowledgement of Merson's photo at S21 that was given to him, and he stamped uh, this photograph, and therefore he gave it to us. Ce so me this de vous case de allows me to me speak important. about an important difficulty here, that is to say, the cases of the people who, are, who have the least amount of means and who do not have the possibility of providing registration pas, documents because plus. they do not exist or because Nous they no longer exist. We no longer have uh, her sister's uh, marriage certificate. Sosson. 
avec Mea Sun, with her marriage with Mea Sun, we, we do not have any si registration uh, documents from her. Therefore, the only the mayor of this commune, who knows the family well, années, for years, in fact, was able to officialize this tampon, uh, testimony and stamped uh, si, the documents. So if you give me the leave, Mr. President, because you have not yet received notification of this déposée, document that was uh, filed, we can eventually uh, present it through the screen uh, so that you may become aware of it. We can display it on the screen if necessary. The court official is now instructed to take the document from the auprès de l'avocat des civil party civil lawyer and put them on the projector to be on display so that the projecteur. defense counsel is able to look at them and uh, share their Observations. Merci. Tout le monde pourra pour avoir cette pièce et l'avocat des parties civiles pourra nous en dire plus. The, uh, the defense counsel, could you please look at this document, which is new before the chamber and uh, the civil party lawyer of uh, So Song has requested that the document be put on display. The court official is now instructed to take another available copy of that document to be given to the defense counsel so that they can see a better view of the document. The President, uh, the Civil Party Lawyer Group Mr. 3, Trus, you may proceed. Oui, ce sont les documents Mr. Fabien Trusna, hier, hier these are the documents à, that I gave avec, yesterday uh, morning uh, 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 in two languages. Uh, okay, the President, the Defense Council, we note you on your feet. Ms. Canizares, thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, these documents were given to us yesterday in order, indeed, to respect the principles of adversarial hearings. And the defense indicated yesterday that regarding this particular civil party, 
Well, that there was no kinship that allowed us to uh, link this person with this victim. And my esteemed colleague indicated that there is no birth certificate nor marriage certificate. However, the civil party is putting, bef putting before the chamber an affidavit that was established by the mayor of the commune that is relating facts that happened more than 30 years ago. So the defense has no specific observations to formulate regarding the uh, probatory value of uh, such a uh, document. The President, uh, Judge Levin, will take the floor. Merci, Judge Levin, President. thank you, Mr. President. I must uh, confess that I don't really understand Cambodian legislation in terms français, of uh, registration papers, but I know that in France, a mayor is considered as donc, being uh, uh, um, uh, an official civil charge, servant, so in any case, he is in civil, charge il est of même registering uh, and he is able uh, to provide Alors, copies of uh, registration papers. So can the defense tell us uh, if they verified uh, these documents or if they are able to tell us what the uh, mayor's power uh, is uh, in this regard? Uh, is he, like in France, is he an official officer? Uh, civil, um, civil servant, or is it, or, or, or is it just a simple affidavit of uh, some kind of preferential witness here? Ms. Trus not considered this as the certificate of a simple witness because indeed it is an act that has an official value because he, he, is, a, he is a state officer. This is why we asked for this affidavit. That's why we asked uh, the mayor to provide this document to us, and he was the one who took the decision to include la, uh, with this uh, affidavit uh, uh, the signature of three complementary witnesses who would confirm uh, what he is stating. The president, the civil party lawyer group three, you may proceed further. We know that civil party lawyer group three is on her feet. So, what would you wish to do? Would you wish to make any comments? So, if you wish to do so, the floor is yours. And we would like to make sure that this matter is settled now as scheduled. And we don't want this problem to be left unresolved. Ms. Trusnapus, yes, Mr. President. Oui, Président. Yes, indeed. I believe that it is indeed very important because as we are part of these proceedings and given the hardship that we are facing right now in order to obtain these registration papers from some of our civil parties or from the victims of S21, it is indeed extremely important that we that decisions be taken 
um, aux attestations des maires in des a communes, proper way, and if it is, and indeed it might be necessary uh, to refer to the mayors of the communes who are people who are, have the power to give the official guarantee of these documents, whether it be in France, and it is the same thing in Cambodia. The Cambodian lawyers here uh, have um, confirmed that it is possible to do so in Cambodia, and it is under these circumstances that I believe that it's important that uh, the chamber can let us know if we can continue in this direction and finally allow through this the officialization of the documents Tout simplement parce que nous which, plus which Et je pense qu would est certify the kinship link between the civil party and the victim. And it is extremely important that the people who may not Donc, have these papers, and these are generally people without any means, the poorest people in Cambodian society, these people should be able to have access to justice and should be able to have also access to your court. And this is why we want uh, Ms. Uh, Song to be heard today. Thank you. And, uh, we know that Mr. Kasabut is Maître on his feet. You take the floor. Mr. Kasabut, thank you, Mr. President, Merci Your Honours. Regarding the civil party, we, the Defense Council, have found it difficult to prove whether she is really the member of uh, the family of the dead person at S21, because if we refer to the document E2-34, uh, e with ERN 00274461, there has been some discrepancies in the document itself, because she stated that Bakan was in Bosat province, and uh, then she stated in the same document that uh, Miesun lived in Tropeang Chrap and Kompot province. So there has been a lot of discrepancies in the document uh, which makes it difficult for the Defense Council to accept uh, that she has established a kind of uh, proved kinship link. The President, uh, we have not heard uh, the statement of the civil party and we seem to have already concluded her statement I think it should be the other way around, uh, that uh, we should have listened to her statement first, and then we can make our conclusion later as to whether the statement is genuinely true or not. Uh, and uh, after only having heard the statement of the civil party, then the parties to the proceeding can come to the conclusion based on the statement. So the chamber will now decide to hear the statement of the civil party first. Mrs. So Song, could you please briefly tell the court the relationship of your story as opposed to the accused, the reason that makes you join as a civil party to seek civil claims for reparation. So, 
you may be now given the floor to tell the court uh, those damages and the effect Voyez of aussi, such damages physically emotionally prejudice subi sur le plan matériel ou sur le plan psychologique the sufferings of course that endured during the entire period of S21 starting from the 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. So please, if you are able to tell the court about this, you now take the floor. Response. Yes, of course, I can, Mr. President. Oui, Monsieur le Président. At, uh, in 1975, he en lived in Chakrating, Kampot, and I lived in Srai Ambal, Kong. And uh, I actually lived with him when he was the chief of the commune in Chakrating. Later on, he was transferred to the north uh, to Pur district in Siem Reap. That was the last time we saw each other and uh, we could see one another again only in later years. When I met my sister again, she told me that her husband was already killed and that he had uh, been detained for Et 10 days in Simria uh, and Simriep. then detained in Badambong before he was transferred to Phnom Penh enfin to be Phnom detained Penh. further and executed. In 1980, en Uncle Ni, nee, who already died actually nee, back then, saw the photo of brother Sun at Dual Slang Sun and then he told uh, about this to my sister but uh, she would not want to pay a visit to Dual Slang because she would be afraid she could not stand seeing the photo of her dead husband. Later on uh, we had to struggle to hold on to life and we in 1987, uh, I got married and I departed from her and uh, I live in Kampung Saum and uh, I could uh, manage to set aside some of the income I earned from my business to support her. And uh, after 1979, because of the poverty uh, ridden uh, in the family itself, uh, brother Sun's family and the uh, kids uh, could not uh, manage to go to school and uh, they had no one to support their education, so there were no school uh, for them. And the, he when she was encouraged to file an application to join at a civil party at the court, she was reluctant to do so because she was afraid that she too would uh, die. But I was strong enough to uh, act on her behalf to file an application to join a civil party. I dare no death. I, I was afraid of no death. The president. The president, uh, the civil party lawyer group three, would you wish to put questions to the civil party to support her de la civile civil party application? Mr. President, thank you for oui, giving me the opportunity to put questions to my client. Good afternoon. Bon Auntie, so 
song. Madame Sosong, I have some questions to be put to you on top of what you have already stated before the chamber in relation to the death of your brother-in-law at S21. In the case file, there appear to be two names used by your brother-in-law. Did he have two names or did he only use one name? Response. There are two names. I was told that his photo was found at Tools Lang and then ad hoc organization uh, asked us whether I belong to the family of the dead person and whether I would like to join uh, as the civil party. I did not know whether he changed his name to Teng Sun because si his original name was Mie Sun, but his father's Mie name Sun. was Teng. I think he could Teng. have uh, taken uh, after his father's name as uh, Teng Sun instead of Mie Sun when he was detained at Tuol Slang. Council, thank you, Auntie, for giving the clarification in Merci relation to this matter. Just now, when the president asked you in relation to your account, when you question. were seven years old and that you had uh, lived uh, with your sister until the day you got married, could you please uh, tell us more about the situation in the family sur, uh, la situation de la famille. that I mean back in the early days uh, when you started uh, living with the family until your sister got uh, married to uh, your brother-in-law response I had lived with them since I was seven years old because my father allowed me to live with them and then my sister got married to brother Sun and I love them very much because they, they were the caring and all loving eux, uh, qui brothers and sisters, so they supported moi. financially, uh, they supported me Notamment for education and for everything, and I treated them as uh, my moi, je les real les brother, donc, uh, my blood brother, uh, although he was uh, my brother-in-law. And I treated, uh, I have treated their family, uh, his family and relatives as uh, those of mine. So, this is uh, how I could tell the court about uh, my account when I lived uh, with them. And uh, voilà the reason that I filed this application to join as a civil si party because civil, uh, I really missed uh, my brother-in-law because he and my sister had uh, been working very hard to support uh, the members of the family and uh, Aider la famille pour even though I am now working at Sri Ambal, si I still have to manage Ambel. to financially support my nieces and nephews. Encore, um, However, je, je, with the absence of my brother-in-law, my nephews mon frère, and nieces uh, cannot uh, go far at school because uh, they, the family is very poor and desperate. Uh, so all my nieces and nephews are illiterate and I am very sorry for them. And it has been the cause uh, 
of the loss of uh, their father. That's why Cela they have had suffered uh, such a phenomenon. At present, my other sibling built a hut for my nephews. Um, un de mes frères a construit une payote pour uh, un neveu. And the nephews have been supported by Ce neveu. the money that he earned. And I myself also have been supported a by my other sibling. I am also frère, je suis aidé from a poor background. Frère, so both my cousins and myself et are in a poor condition. And my other sister saw the photograph of my brother-in-law. She kept crying Quand ma and she was speechless. And during the time that I lodged my application to join the civil party, she was not well. And she had been sick for more than a year. I actually wanted to lodge her application as well, but due to her poor health, I decided not to. My current situation as well as the situation of my cousin and my other sister Par rapport is à very la poor. De mon cousin et de ma we aînée, regard ourselves as living under one roof. We share what we have. Nous partageons ce que nous avons. And we take care of each other. Et nous occupons les uns des autres. Thank you, Auntie, for providing the information Question, to the Chamber. Says the Council. Let me go back a little chambre. bit. During the time that you had lived with your elder sister Alors, and your brother-in-law, you would have the image of the close relationship between you and uh, them. Avoir une image de la and you were a part of their deviez, family. As you have described to the chamber, you had your parents, but at the age of seven, uh, they were separated, parents, and, you, and your elder sister was uh, sent to live with your uncle and auntie. So you did not have the comfort um, of the parents. Sir, par conséquent, and later on, when you started living with your sister and your sister got married, et ensuite, votre and sœur they provided mariée, good treatments to you, it provided you with the comfort and frère, they were treated as parents to you. Charge, Is this a fair si assumption of your, im, of your regards to reflète uh, ce que vous avez vécu. Response. Réponse. My sister, as well as my ma soeur, brother-in-law, I loved them and treated them as my real blood brother, or si I regarded them as my parents. I was provided with everything, parents, clothing, schooling fees, books, sang, studying materials. Uh, Although I was besoins, uh, an in-law uh, through him, I was well treated, moi, and only in mid-1970, when the situation was chaotic and difficult, we move around quite a bit, as a place we live was borderline to the liberated zone, so then I, due to such difficulty, and he was afraid that the Lunar soldiers would arrest me, that's why he sent me to live with my mother, and I loved him as my father, and I treated him so. Council, thank you. You said in 1970, he sent you away to live with your mother due to his concern that you would be arrested by Lunol. And what would happen if you were arrested or by the Lunol soldiers? Que vous soyez arrêté par les soldats de Lunol. Si vous avez été arrêté 
in 1970, there were examples of what happened by the old date. On one side, there was a liberty zone. On the other side, there was a zone controlled by the lunar soldiers. So during those times, when the lunar soldiers saw any girl or woman, regardless of their status, they would rape that girl or woman. And my brother-in-law was very concerned regarding this matter. That's why he sent me. He was afraid that the soldiers would come up and arrest me, and he sent me to live with my mother so that I do not have to run here and there. De manière à ce que je ne because the lunar soldiers, they are not to go into the liberated zone. Parce que les de Thank you, says the council. Aller dans la zone After libérée. you left his family Question in 1970, what, what happened to you? What was your living condition upon your departure until the liberation day of 7 January 1979? Did you maintain contact with his family? Or what happened? Êtes-vous resté en contact avec sa famille? Response. Réponse. After I went to live with my mother in 1970, I still kept my contact with my brother-in-law. I kept coming to visit him. He was still involved with the lunar soldiers. I still kept coming to visit him. Et je venais lui rendre visite. Pour maintenir le contact. And the situation kept going on until mid-November 1974, when Anka assigned me to Sri affecté à Sri Ambal in Swaitong Sap district, Kampong Tra district, de Kampong Tra. and then I lost contact with him during that Puis, time. However, in 1976, although at the time I was still living in uh, Sri Ambal, I had a disease and I I requested Anka to come home for the treatment, and then I met him, and in 1977, he was transferred to Simri by Anka, so I lost contact with him since then. And in 1979, I met his wife, and I was told that he is dead. So we kept crying upon hearing that news, and we tried our best to raise the cousins until later I got married in 87 and went to live in Sihanoukville. Thank you, says the council. You said when you, you, when you re United with your other sister, you try to rest your cousins. Can you tell the chamber what job did you have in order to earn enough money to support those cousins, your nephews? Response. Council, let me ask you again. During the time that you tried to earn money to feed that family, what did you do? Permettez-moi de vous poser la question. Pendant la période où vous avez subvenu aux besoins de votre famille, pouvez-vous nous dire ce que vous faisiez? Quelle était votre activité économique? Réponse. Au moment où nous avons quitté la forêt. In order to earn the money to feed them, sometimes I dug the banana stump to sell them. J'avais également des bananes à vendre. Tried very hard, and sometimes we could not find anything. So I had to grind the trunk of the banana in order to feed my nephews. And when there was an opportunity for me to work in the salt field, I wrote my biography and I lodged my application. And in the a village at the time, there was an announcement for people to work in the salt fields. So I and my other sister applied for that job. 
First, once we started the job, we were not given any money yet, we were given rice, and with those rice, we fed the nephews. Although my parents did not live with us, we supported them financially and materially. The president, the Civil Party Council, you only have two more minutes, and please try to put questions to the exact facts of the reason for her to be a civil party to this case. As you are well aware of the facts alleged on the accused, and if your questions do not point directly to the facts, then it's a waste of time for you. Thank you, Mr. President, and I would use these two minutes to ask my last questions. Question. After your brother-in-law died, and now, what is the situation of your elder sister and your situation? Is the suffering gone or is still living inside your heart and your mind? Response. After he died and after we learned of his death and when we saw the photos, let's put it this way, after 1979, her living situation was deteriorating and the children could not go to school because there was no breadwinner in the family and I tried my best to support the family. Uh, and the suffering inflicted upon my elder sister, the nephews, and myself are still ongoing. And everybody just hoped if he was still alive, then the situation would be different. And now in a situation in a family where there is no father to support the family, the situation is just hopeless. We all just felt regret and that we would not be able to forget it for the rest of our life, for the loss of a dear husband, a dear father and a dear brother. During that time, we just could not imagine the suffering inflicted upon him before he was executed. Before we saw the photo, we did not cry much, but after we saw the photos, every one of us just kept crying, weeping. Even the neighbors, they all kept weeping, feeling sorry for him and the suffering he received. And that Choi, who was the village chief, also cried for the loss of, the, of this dear person. He was a very humble and docile person, and he never mistreated anybody or said any strong words to anyone. Everyone was just missing him and felt sorry for the loss. Although we were living in a suffering stage, our mind is still with him. And even at present, we do not have a house to live in. We are living in a hut. Thank you. That is the end of my questions, the President. It is now appropriate for a break, and the chamber will take 20 minutes break until 3 o'clock, when we will, we will continue to hear this civil party. The civil party, you may now have a break for refreshment, and please return to the seat by 3 p.m. All rise, says the crash here. Je vous remercie. Mesdames et messieurs, levez-vous, dit la greffière.